We got some new uh, Nebula products from Anchor. These things are very convenient portable projectors, which actually the image quality is quite surprising. They're truly portable giant screens. This is the Nebula Capsule 3 laser. And over here, we have the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. So an actual 4K capable projector. You have Android TV and Google Assistant. You've also got Chromecast built in. So it's just a number of different ways to interact with it and get content to it. However, if you did want to plug a game console or something in, you could because you've also got HDMI. So it's a lot of versatility. Now this one they're saying is pocket sized. Maybe you have a big pocket, but it is totally portable. DLP technology, 1080p as mentioned. The battery inside, 14,500 milliamp hour. USB-C, HDMI, auxiliary out if you want to send audio to an external audio system. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Chromecast built in. It's also got a dedicated remote for controlling that Android TV. You can see in this picture, these people are out uh, camping and they have a giant projection going on. Pack that whole thing up and fit it in a small bag. Unboxing experience, a few more demos of how you might want to use it. You can have the romance going on uh, in the desert or on the beach. So this is your remote, not too big, not too small. I say not too small because some of these uh, smart devices have remotes that are tiny enough to be lost frequently. I have experience with that. Volume, home, back, nav section, dedicated assistant button and a power switch plus microphone on there so you can use your voice to interact with it. Batteries included, which you always love to see. A little bit of paperwork. And then the projector, look at how sleek this little guy is. Cool to the touch, so metal build. Nav on the top as well, if you don't have the remote or don't care to carry it. But the form factor is really what's key. This would probably fit in a cup holder. This is basically the size of a Bluetooth speaker. Giant grill around the outside in order to expose the audio components, power switch on the back, as well as Bluetooth over there. Here we can see our full size HDMI port, auxiliary and type C as well. And then on the bottom, we actually have a thread for a tripod style adapter. Lens on the front, 1080p laser projection, and also autofocus capable so that the setup is not too tedious. Also in the package, we have our power brick. You don't necessarily have to be tethered to this, but you are gonna need to recharge it at some point and you can use it connected to the power adapter too, if you wish. Of course, we're gonna need a USB-C cable to connect the two. So that is the Capsule 3. But before we boot it up and take a peek at it, let's go ahead and open up the 4K capable Cosmos Laser 4K. So what do you get in the bigger form factor besides 4K? 2400 lumens, and you can actually see your image with the lighting on in the room. The same light source technology used in professional theater projectors, up to 150 inch display with this added brightness and resolution. And obviously you have sound built in here as well, two by 10 watt and two by five watt. Here we have a power cable. So slightly bigger unit, just need a power cable. Here we have a, a little 4K streaming dongle, which actually installs into uh, the back side of the projector and stays there permanently. Slightly different remote. This one actually has some dedicated buttons for YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and Disney Plus. We have volume as well as channel, home, uh, a navigate, of course, our assistant button for Google as well. Ooh, I like this handle on the top. Still very portable and easy to move around. We have the grill on the side. It's kind of a cool look. We have a power switch, nav section, as well as uh, audio controls. And this is like a rubberized finish to it. Then on the back, you'll see a full-size HDMI port, USB-A port, auxiliary, as well as power connection point. You don't need a separate power brick. The power cable goes straight into there. So this is where the 4K streaming dongle connects. Hmm. Fits in there kind of nicely. On the front of the device, we see this Wow, look at that nice piece of glass right there. A number of other sensors in order to have the thing set up quickly. If you're slightly off kilter, uh, the keystone effect, you're gonna have that stuff happen automatically. And it kind of makes sense because they're targeted at set it up and go. You wanna have 150 inch 4K image in any room at any time, just grab the power cable and this unit and like imagine that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, set these up and see what we can do. All right, so we have both units booted up now. On my left, we have the Cosmos 4K and on my right, we have the Capsule. Two totally different products in how they're approaching a similar task. So in the case of the Capsule, it's all about 
portability and approachability from a price perspective. It's gonna fit in a small bag. You can just carry it in your hand and even setting it up, you don't need to plug it in because it has the built-in battery. Cosmos 4K on the other hand, no built-in battery because it's extremely bright, like shockingly bright at 2400 lumens. And when you put them side by side, you begin to appreciate that added brightness and of course, the extra resolution. Even from this seating distance, I can tell the difference. Granted, it's helpful to have them side by side. Likely, if I didn't, I'd be sitting there saying, you know what, the capsule's looking pretty good for such a little thing. If you're gonna be competing with some sort of ambient light or natural light, the 2400 lumens is gonna come in handy big time. This thing is gonna win hands down. But if you're going for like the party scene and it's gonna be used primarily in the evening and it's gonna be movie night and it's gonna be camp outs and things like that and portability is key and setup and ease of setup is key, then the capsule is gonna be just fine. So anyways, we have Android TV. Android TV gives us everything we could possibly want from Netflix to YouTube to Prime Video. It's endless, right? Sports streaming apps, I wanna watch the baseball game, hockey game. Having the ability to have all your content but not need to plug anything else in. And in the case of the capsule, not even a power cable, it's kind of beautiful. Check it out, I'll just hit the button. Play Unbox Therapy on YouTube. Playing Unbox Therapy on YouTube. Thank you. The other cool thing here, volume. Like we have this audio beauty. built in, like you we have really audio built in. It is like a dirt bike slash Pretty loud audio. Quality. You're getting some pretty nice sound out of it. So you can have a little bit of a party going on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one down. Uh, let's do a quick little comparison here. Play Lou later on YouTube. Whoa, a few things happening because of you know, <laughs> Look at the injury. <laughs> I got the, oh, I got my nose busted up too. <laughs> yeah, the nose busted. Actually, that oh, thing has that. surprising audio for such a small little unit. Go for it. Anyway, uh, we're not here yeah. for that today. We're not here to talk about my injuries. I... I uh, didn't expect them to be that comparable from an audio perspective, considering how much bigger the Cosmos 4K is. They're both gonna be sufficient for whatever event you're using them for. And for me, what's important in here is the sports apps. So you can actually watch live sports and have like viewing parties in unexpected places. If you wanna watch baseball, UFC, uh, NHL, and then you go into games as well. You can connect a console, something like a PlayStation 5, through the HDMI port is a ton of versatility there for how you get to interact with it. And it's all very clean. Man, something about a look of a projector, just as far as like the space and ambience is concerned, it just feels like a party once you get the projector going. I'm really into the Cosmos 4K. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just that extra punch. It really feels like a TV replacement. I'm about to go to a hockey tournament and I was telling Mo, I was like, you know, I should take the little capsule with me. The capsule, you pop it out, the novelty factor. People are like, are we really watching the hockey game right now? Is that what we're doing? Here's the beauty of it, guys. There's lots to choose from in the Nebula range. It's not even just these two units. And you can kind of select for what you want to prioritize. Is it portability, convenience, and battery operation? Is it brightness and optimal resolution? The Nebula projectors, the Nebula lineup, from Anchor and let me know, actually, let me know in the comments. What would you prioritize? Is portability more important or do you want all the lumens and all the resolution?